Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and today we are going to be discussing microneedling aftercare. <music> Now we have done a couple videos here on the channel talking about microneedling, what it is, what it can help with, and what it can do for your acne scars, texture, dark spots, fine lines, and all of that. We've talked about in-office versus at-home treatments, and we've definitely done some deep dives into it, but we haven't talked so much about microneedling aftercare. And this is so, so important because you wanna make sure you're taking care of your skin in the proper manner for it to heal after a more invasive treatment like this. So let's get right on into it. So overall, microneedling uses microscopic needles to puncture the skin, and by causing a small wound in the skin, cause your body, like it's kind of like a trigger effect, to cause more collagen production in the area that you did the microneedling on. So this can be really helpful for acne scars, fine lines, texture, dark spots, and other um, damaged areas on the skin as it can kind of regenerate that collagen and help to heal those spots back up. And especially with these like at-home products too, it can also help with product absorption to have your skincare penetrate more deeply into your skin. But the aftercare after microneedling is so, so crucial and making sure that you're following the right steps since you do want your skin to heal properly after a treatment like this rule number one wear sunscreen please please wear sunscreen yeah. sunscreen is literally gonna be your best friend I mean it should always be your best friend but especially in this time for probably the next like two to four weeks you should be applying a sunscreen consistently throughout the day making sure you're reapplying as directed on the packaging to make sure that you're protecting your skin fully from the Sun and that you're using an SPF of at least 30 I would say um, anything lower isn't really gonna protect enough especially if you are going outside and most importantly right after you have finished microneedling and overall you know wearing that sunscreen is super important but I would just try to avoid the Sun altogether for the first 24 hours after the microneedling treatment since your skin is gonna be super sensitive in this state and it is at a more compromised state where it is at risk of more sun damage I would recommend a physical sunscreen so you want to look for filters such as zinc oxide or titanium dioxide rather than chemical filters like avobenzone and oxybenzone um, and some different ones like that because physical sunscreens will sit on top of the skin and kind of create that barrier between you know the sun and your face rather than being absorbed into the skin plus chemical filters do have tendencies to be more sensitizing to the skin and since your skin will be in a more compromised state at this point a physical sunscreen is just a lot safer next up avoid touching your face and even washing it for I would say the first 24 hours as well and with that also avoid wearing makeup really you just want to avoid anything avoid touching your face because again your skin is very compromised at this point if you like absolutely need need to wear makeup I would wait at least eight hours after the microneedling treatment do not apply it right away because if you think about it your skin has open wounds all over after a treatment like this is done and with that you also want to be avoiding swimming pools saunas and even intense workouts as you would be sweating a lot in those um, environments and again we did just create those micro tears in the skin so you want to protect your skin and just let it heal now if you're using an at-home device like the banisher 2.0 right here you'd want to wait at least 24 hours um, for these workouts swimming pools or saunas sim or similar type environments but if you are doing a more in-office treatment that's more intense and it penetrates the skin even deeper you want to wait at least 72 hours since your skin will be in a very sensitive state and if you see any irritation redness swelling or stinging wait longer um, for all of these activities as well as like wearing makeup and other products now vitamin C can be applied afterwards this is the banish oil and I usually apply this right after I have done my microneedling treatments with the banisher and vitamin C will actually help boost that collagen production even more when combined with the microneedling treatment but with that you do want to avoid higher concentrations of vitamin C as this can really irritate your skin vitamin C in high concentrations already has tendencies to like sting and be sensitizing to the skin so you do want to be careful with that this one right here is very tolerable and even myself with sensitive skin is like the perfect vitamin C to 
use. With that, you want to avoid any strong actives or treatments, as well as any exfoliating products. And basically, you want to be taking your skincare routine to a very basic, simple level. Just skipping on anything that could be irritating to the skin during this time, just for a couple days. Especially any products that tend to increase cell turnover, you do not want to be using during this time. So therefore, what can you use? So in your new, simple skincare routine that you'll, you're going to be using for a bit, you want to be using a very gentle cleanse if you can tolerate it nothing with exfoliating products no salicylic acid no benzoyl peroxide very simple like even a cream cleanser would be really really great and then you just want to be using lukewarm water and if you find that your skin is very sensitive very dry just skip the cleanser and just use water for the next few days especially since you won't be wearing makeup um, and you won't have to be washing that off at the end of the day serums with vitamin c and e like the banish oil are great to use during this time just nothing with too high of concentrations i I would say stick to vitamin C that's like underneath the 15% and you know always do a little patch test just to make sure it's good and of course you want to be using your sunscreen during this time to protect your skin from UV rays at as it is more at risk than it usually would be from the sun and last but not least a simple moisturizer that will just hydrate and moisturize the skin but doesn't have like any um, extra fancy ingredients in it I would also avoid fragrance at this time too since your skin you know again we have those micro tears there this one is the vitamin C cream from banish and remember to avoid makeup application, sun exposure, swimming, heavy workouts, AHAs, BHAs, any scrubs. So unfortunately you cannot use your pumpkin enzyme mask during this time as this is an exfoliator. So keep this for about like a week or two after you've done your microneedling. I would also avoid any physical exfoliants like even spin brushes or similar tools to that. Um, anything like even if you use like a face towel to wash your face, I would avoid any of that scrubbing or physical or manual exfoliation. Exfoliation. You also want to be avoiding retinols at this time. So there it is guys There's a rundown on the aftercare kind of progress for microneedling Hopefully this video is helpful to inform you if you are thinking about getting microneedling done But you weren't really sure about the downtime after or what you can and cannot do So hopefully this clarified it and if you did enjoy make sure to give this video a thumbs up and go check out The rest of the videos on the acne channel. Thank you guys so so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video Bye.